Hi there, my name is Connor Vickery and I'm the email deliverability analyst here at BombBomb. I wanted to record a video today to kind of talk about uh, when, when you're sending from the BombBomb web app or our platform. So if you actually go to bombbomb.com and send emails from there using a template, um, basically when you're not sending from your own inbox using our extension, you're actually sending from our platform itself. Um, when you're sending from the platform, you can send to lists of people. So on your inbox, you're normally limited on how many people you can send to. Whereas when you send from the BombBomb platform, you can actually send uh, to thousands of people if you need to. Um, although we recommend trying to send smaller batch emails to make those a bit more curated and personal uh, when you're sending out emails to lists of people. Um, when you're sending to lists of people, it's very important to consider who you're sending to. So if you're sending to like friends and family, or if you're sending to new leads, um, or if you're sending to like an old database, those should all be kind of treated differently, right? So if you're sending to people you haven't emailed in a long time, it might be good to consider, hey, is this person gonna remember who I am? Should I send them a personal email first to kind of reintroduce them to my business, reintroduce them to the value I bring before adding them to like my marketing emails, my bigger marketing emails? How should I approach these contacts? Uh, if it's a new lead, would it be better if you sent a personal email in that situation to kind of warm them up to you as a person? Or do you think it'd be better just to drop them straight into your marketing emails. It's probably better to send more of a personal email and you can definitely do that with a video. That's a great way to introduce yourself to someone who may have just signed up on your website or from someone who you just got their business card from. If you're sending from the BombBomb Bomb platform, are you using a Gmail address or are you using some kind of custom domain? If you're using a Gmail address or a domain that's hosted by Gmail, I certainly recommend uh, connecting the Gmail integration. So in your BombBomb Bomb account, if you click on your profile at the top right, and then in that dropdown, click integrations, there's a Gmail integration that you can connect. And what this will do is we'll route emails uh, through Gmail servers instead of ours on any sense to 10 or less recipients. And that can help if you're normally sending from Gmail. That way it's a bit more native to what recipients are used to getting from you. Uh, so if you're sending from Gmail, then they're gonna their, their inboxes will recognize that and say, okay, uh, this is still coming from the same place. Uh, when you do send from BombBomb and you don't have that Gmail integration connected, it is gonna come from BombBomb's mail servers. So uh, just keep that in mind because this can be a little jarring to recipients if they haven't received emails from you using BombBomb before. You may want to, again, warm them up to receiving emails from you from your new platform. So instead of just doing a big blast right off the bat, try to send some a few one-to-one -one emails. That way the different inboxes can kind of start to affiliate your new sending patterns and associate you with sending from BombBomb mail servers versus just jumping onto BombBomb and then sending to like 2000 people right away. Uh, that might not go as well as if you take the time to send one-to-one -one emails to kind of warm up your new sending patterns to these various inbox providers. When sending emails from the BombBomb web platform, since you are sending from our mail server, you are utilizing our mail server's reputation, which is a good thing because we take our reputation very seriously. So we monitor all of the spam complaints that BombBomb emails receive, any bounces, meaning invalid addresses that we send to, anything that an inbox provider would care about. So Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, all these inbox providers are constantly monitoring every sender and how their emails are performing. So if you're sending emails and you're getting a lot of spam complaints, that can cause the reputation of your mail server or your domain to go down. And having a low reputation means your mail is more likely to go to the junk folder or the spam folder instead of that primary or promotions folder, which is where you want to be. So since we take that so seriously, we do have really good deliverability rates. We're trying to get you to that primary folder. And so we actually monitor all of our users to make sure everyone is sending healthy emails. So when you send mail from our platform, uh, definitely send to contacts that have opted in, people that are actually going to receive your mail well, that are not going to report your mail as spam. So um, that's why we take a stance on not allowing emails that are sent to purchase lists or public databases or lists that have been shared um, because those often produce spam complaints and aren't very well maintained lists. So a lot of times a lot of those addresses are invalid. And if we send to those lists or we allow all of our users to send to those types of lists, that can get our reputation docked by inbox providers, which could result in our mail not doing as well for all of our user base.